Dear students, welcome to the online class of class 6 science. So in the previous class, I started the lesson body movements wherein I explained about the one kind of joint that is ball and socket joint which is present in our arm. Okay. So dear students, today let us study about two more types of joints in today's class. The second type of joint that we are studying today is pivot joint. Okay, so this joint is present in the place where our neck part joins the head portion in the, is a pivot joint. Okay, the joint which is present between neck and head means which connects the neck to the head. So such a joint is called pivot joint. Okay, so it allows to bend in two directions that is it allows to bend our head in forward direction as well as backward direction and also turn our head to the left as well as right okay so this is an example for what pivotal joint so here what happens there it allows our head to move forward as well as backward at the same time it allows us the movement of head towards left as well as towards turn towards right okay so this kind of movement is possible in the pivot joint so you can try these movements yourself okay so that you will uh, uh, verify yourselves okay so now how these movements are different from those of the joints which are present in our arm that can rotate complete one circle in its ball and socket joint so already we have studied in the um, previous class I explained you about the first type of joint that is ball and socket joint which is present in our arm so where the, the this joint allows the moment complete one rotation around it okay so complete rotation possible because of the uh, ball and socket joint but this joint is little different here in pivot joint we cannot rotate completely complete one rotation cannot complete forward and backward you can do the moment and turn towards left as well as towards right okay so in how does the pivotal joint work so in the pivotal joint a cylindrical bone rotates in a ring there is one cylindrical bone okay cylindrical shaped bone is present between neck as well as head so this cylindrical uh, uh, bone which rotates in a ring shape okay so like a ring shape it is rotating in pivotal joint okay so i hope you have understood this concept so it is present between our neck as well as head that's why we are able to move right forward and backward and towards left and right we can turn it up right so let's go for the third type of joint that is hinge joints so you might all be familiar with this hinge joints so it is present in doors okay try to close a door of your house a shop or any building okay try to observe that hinge okay open and close the door so you are only able to move forward and backward right so observe the hinge which is fixed to the doors okay so observe it carefully they allow the moment of the door to move back and forth that's all not complete rotation okay not to left and right okay only back and forth in moment is possible where the place where there is a hinge is present so in the same manner how the hinge of the door works the same manner in our our body also there is a hinge joint which allows the movement only back and forth okay for this one activity it is given so which can we can do it ourselves simple so it looks like the same kind of movement allowed by a hinge which is present in our body so for this a simple activity is given to you you can do it in your home so you make one cylindrical shape with the help of cardboard or any piece of paper chart paper you can take or a cardboard you can take so cut it up and make it a cylindrical shape 3d figure you make it okay now which is already shown in the figure 8.4 here round uh, no, cylindrical figure you make using a chart paper or a what cardboard now attach that small pencil to the cylinder by piercing through the cylinder okay so in the cylinder in the middle part you make a hole pierce so through piercing through the middle of the cylinder you attach a small pencil okay so now again as shown in the figure make one more cylinder with the card sheet but it should not be complete half hollow hollow means empty half hollow hollow or empty we say hollow half cylindrical cylindrical shape you make it another one from by using a cardboard you must make a hollow cylindrical half cylindrical shape 
by using another cardboard in such a way that the rolled the complete complete rolled up cylinder should sit should fit inside this half half cylinder cylindrical figure which you are preparing now okay so the complete rolled rolled up cylinder which we prepared earlier no that should fit inside this another half cylinder hollow cylinder which you have made recently so completely it should fit fit into it okay now so the hollow half cylinder with the complete rolled up cylinder sitting inside it okay it allows the moment in a like how what hinge joint so it is an example for the moment of hinge joint you can look at the direction they have shown the direction over there only forward and backward direction is possible so how does it move so this moment takes place okay forward and backward front and back it is taking place so already we have seen that uh, construction of the we have drawn also and even we have done here so for what one plastic ball we have made a hole in that and we have fixed a one stick into the that uh, plastic ball so here the moment is possible complete rotation is possible into at the end of the bone because of the empty cavity the rounded end of the one cavity fit one bone it fits into the cavity of the other bone so this is a bone and socket joint okay ball and socket joint here it is little different from the ball and socket joint so it illustrates the direction this what we have done 8.4 activity almost the same as the ball and socket joint activity here you can look at it here but it's different here it's plastic ball is there so it can rotate completely inside the cavity of another bone but here so complete rotation it is not possible okay only half rotation front and forward and backward direction is possible okay so it illustrates the direction in which a hinge joint allows movement so it illustrates that in which direction the uh, hinge joint moment moves takes the moment that will be illustrated by this example 8.4 okay so the elbow has a hinge joint so elbow so we have in our elbows no in our both the hands so that el elbow allows the only a back and forth moment back as well as fourth moment is possible at the elbow so that's why it's an example for hinge joint so you can also think of some more examples of such joints for example knee joints they are also knee knee joints as well as elbow joints both are same examples for the hinge joints okay here they have given the diagram of hinge joints of our knee so here you can see so they are joined together by two bones right or not so dear students i hope you have understood today's concept that is uh, hinge joints as well as pivot joint which is present between our neck as well as head which allows the movement only forward and backward and turns to the left and right whereas in case of hinge joint the movement is possible only back and forth so dear students i hope you have understood this concept so in tomorrow's class let me continue with the next concept that is fixed joints now try to draw the diagrams of these both uh, hinge joints as well as pivotal joint and try to write their applications thank you dear students and have a nice day